Hello everyone, this is Ankit, project manager at LoginWorks, one of the leading IT companies in India. So today we will discuss about the object-oriented programming language along with its four basic components that are data abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance and polymorphism. So before we go any deeper into this, let's check out what exactly is the OOPS language. The object-oriented programming language is the main feature of c -sharp. The concept basically focuses upon the objects rather than logic. Also, this concept can be used on almost every platform in order to create beautiful web and mobile applications in a very efficient manner. So the first component of object-oriented programming language is data abstraction. Data abstraction is one of the most important elements of OOPS language. Data abstraction is hiding all the unnecessary information and displaying only the necessary information. Consider a real-life example of a man driving a car. The man knows that by applying the brakes, the car will eventually stop, but he does not know the actual mechanism that is working behind it. So that is what data abstraction is. So now let's come to the second component of OOPS, which is encapsulation. In normal terms, encapsulation is the wrapping up of data and information in a single unit. Similarly, in the concept of OOPS, it is the binding of data and the function that actually manipulates them. Now consider a real life example of encapsulation. In a company, there are two departments, the finance section and the sales section. The finance section will take care of all the financial transactions that are happening in the company. Similarly, in the sales department, will take care of all the sales that is happening in the company. Now, for some reason, the finance department needs to fetch all the data from the sales department. The finance department employees cannot just directly go and ask for the data. They need to contact a higher official of a sales department in order to fetch the data. This is what exactly encapsulation is. Here, the sales data and the people who can manipulate this are wrapped under a single unit. So let's discuss the third component of OOPS language, which is known as inheritance. Inheritance is the capability of a class to derive properties and characteristics from another class. Also, inheritance is one of the most important features of the OOPS language. So further, there are two types of classes in inheritance, that is, the subclass and the superclass. Subclass is a class that inherits the properties of another class, whereas a superclass is a class whose properties are being inherited by the subclasses. Suppose we need to create classes for a group of vehicles, that is, trucks, buses, and cars. Now, we all know that all of them consists of some very basic functionalities, that is, the application of the brakes, the engine, the transmission, etc. Now, in the absence of inheritance, we need to create the classes and include the functions again and again for every class. Whereas, if we use inheritance, we can create a common class with the name of class vehicle and the rest of the classes can inherit the same properties from the existing class. So, let's come down to the fourth and the final component of OOPS language, that is polymorphism. Polymorphism, in simple terms, means having more than one form. So in the OOPS concept, polymorphism is the ability of a message to be displayed in more than one form. So now let's consider a real-time example of polymorphism. A man can have a different characteristics at the very same time. For example, a man can be a father, a husband or an employee depending upon the situation. Also, polymorphism is one of the basic, the most important features of the OOPS language. So this was just a very short brief about the OOPS language and its basic components. For more information about this blog, you can please click on the link mentioned below. And for further technical blogs, you can please log on to www.loginworks.com blogs. Thank you.